Tonight, tonight, you can check out my own. Time to get it started. You know what to do. The rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips. Drench yourself in words unspoken. Live your life. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl. Oh so sure and I'm also oh back on another video. That's not a corny. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? So I got an idea today and I'm about to take you guys back by showing y'all the top 10 black sitcoms of the 90s. At least the top 10 in my opinion. So this guy, how you guys are gonna help me. You guys are gonna let me know if y'all agree by commenting if y'all used to watch these, what you thought of them, and if I missed any. And if I missed any, I can always do a part two. And leave a thumbs up if you like videos like this, cause I can do some more. Cause I'm kind of a TV guru. Yeah, I watch everything you can think of. I can name a few that I don't watch, but yeah, that's a very short list. I watch everything. Ask my friends; they'll tell you. So. Let's get this video started. This isn't in any particular order. I have a little paper here with a list of the top 10 for me. Or the top 10 I could think of, basically. So, I'm going to um, start from 10 and go down to number 1. But remember, it's not in any particular order to say, okay, this is the best, this is the worst. Like, no, no, it's not like that. There's an order of, well, maybe number 1 might be like the actual number 1 for me. But yeah, let's stick around and see. So number ten. Let's check it out. Often I wish that we could take the time to see the me there is to be a family. Yeah, cause it's all of us. Sometimes it can be well. Time and seasons change, but we will still remain. I love that kid Bobby. Like he was funny. Anyways, number nine. Let's check it out. I don't know how many of y'all used to watch that one, but that was a very good show. I love Steve and Cedric. Cedric the Entertainer a lot. They were funny together. They, I, th I don't know if they're friends in real life, but they were good in that show together. I, I'm a fan of um, BT, so yeah, that's why I used to watch that show because it used to come on BT. And when I say I'm a fan of BT, it's not just because of this, okay? I'm just a fan of the TV show, the whatever. What is this called BT, a TV show? The network. The network, okay? Anyways, number eight. Let's check it out. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. All right. The Wayne Brothers is not a show that I used to watch all the time, but I used to watch it sometimes. They were funny. I love Pop. Like, he was probably my favorite character, even though the show was about the brothers. I always was annoyed by Marlon. I thought he was stupid, but Sean was hot. Sean was hot. Marlon always plays stupid characters, too, in other shows. He always be, be dumb. <laughs> like, remember White Chicks? <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, number seven. Let's check it out. Come Jamie Fox. Hey, I like that one. I love that show actually. Like, it was really good. I love the relationship between Jamie and Fancy. How he was always trying to get her. She didn't want him. And then, like, they ended up together in the end. It was nice. It was it was a good show. And his aunt's uncle, oh my god, they were hilarious. Anyways, number six. Let's check it out. <laughs> It's a rare condition, this day and age, to read in 
the good news on the newspaper page Another tradition of the grand design Some people say it's even harder to find <laughs> Yo, all I gotta say for this one is <laughs> Urkel, like y'all I was such an Urkel fan Like, oh my god Like, that show was dope It was such a good show Steve Urkel was a great actor he played that character so well like it gotta give him props he was adamant he wanted Laura he wanted her man <laughs> and um mall cop dad like that was priceless it was a good show number five let's check it out I wonder whatever happened to Junior like he was not the smartest kid like oh uh, it was sad for him and he, he got a pretty girl though like for a dude who was so dumb he got pretty girls it, it that was what amazed me the most and that kid who was in the show that little boy that little genius he was cute like he was a cute kid I liked him and Junior's little sister together I forgot her name I think it was Katie yeah but that show was good the dad was funny too like I remember him from Major Pain too, like, he's a good actor. I forgot, I don't know his real name and I forgot his name in the show, so, yeah. Anyways, number four. This, the Cosby Show, is probably the most watched black sitcom of any of them on my list. Even though I'm not, I have three more to go. Like, that show, I think it got over 30 million views, like, each episode. Like, it was that good. Like, I don't care what happened with uh, um with Bill Cosby right now and, like, all, what, all the shit that went down. Like, I don't care. It was a good show, and that's all I gotta say. Numero three. Nikki used to kill me. Miss Parker! Yes, Professor! And Aunt Dell and Kim. Oh my god, Kim was funny. Like, Kim was dumb, and Nikki was just obsessed with Professor Uncle V. And, like, he he liked her low key. Like, but, like, she was crazy. She was sneaking into his house, all sorts of things. Like, she was crazy. That was a funny show. That was That was a very good show. I, I really like that one. I mess with that one a lot. Anyways, we're almost done. Number two. Let's see. Kyla Pratt had with her dad in that show was probably one of the best father-daughter relationships in TV back then like it was so good like it was a good show you know I, I really liked it one on one and I love their theme song too like it, it was good I enjoyed it anyways guys dun, 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 the number one black TV sitcom of the 90s is let's check it out now this is a 
story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In Westville, over here, born and raised on the playground, spend most of my days chilling out, relaxing, and cooling, and shooting some bebop outside school with a couple of guys that were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a warm little fire, my mom got scared, so you're moving with your auntie your uncle of Bel Air. Yeah! Guys, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the number one for me. Like, that show was great. It was amazing. The most touching episode for me was when Will's dad came into his life and left. Like, I teared up. I even saw, like, a clip of it on Facebook recently, and I teared up again. Like, that was hella emotional. That was a great show. I loved Will. I loved Carlton. Like, Uncle Phil. Everything. It was such a great show. Even though Uncle Phil had two wives. He changed wives during the seasons. But, yeah, it was such a good show. Oh, and Jeffrey. Shout out to Jeffrey that butler. Like, yeah, that was a good show. But, anyways, guys, that's it for my list. Comment below if I missed any. Um, comment below if you agree with me. Just let me know. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Let me go know what you guys think. And remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it. And if you'd like more videos like this, let me get thumbs up. Like I said um, in my other video, turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload. If you're new here, subscribe. Because like I keep telling y'all, the channel's about to get lit. It's like It's getting lit. Like I'm getting lit over here. So anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. We out. Eh! The rest is still unwritten.